Hey guys, so I wanted to do an interesting demo today. I want to talk a little bit about your privacy, but also about software-defined radio. First off, I just finished recording GQRX. I actually found a frequency. My speaker wire seems to be producing emissions that allows me to hear my computer remotely through a specific couple frequencies. So what I did was I tuned to those frequencies and I made a recording for you guys to hear it. And I also have a short video clip of this. What happens here and what we see on the screen here, we have the emissions in red and different electronic devices will produce different unique signatures and emissions. Sometimes when things aren't shielded enough from electromagnetic interference, there can be leaks and things can be picked up. This has been used for everything for from recording sound as I am about to show to identifying unique devices by their unique emissions. So one phone will have a completely different signature from another based on the emission. Here is an example picked up remotely actually capture an LCD screen and you can see right here on the left side the actual image on the screen is captured and has been put onto the software defined radio. I actually have the same kit, but for this example, I actually use the Pine Tabs internal software defined radio. This is because I have I tried both options and I found that I was able to capture just as good audio quality with the internal SDR. I expected a lot more interference. And here's another example how your encryption keys can actually be captured using software defined radio something in called a side channel attack so i have a little document i'll i'll upload some of this to my odyssey make sure you're subscribed to my odyssey i want to make sure everyone gets to check that out i'm going to have videos and documents and tutorials and other things that won't be found on any other platform so definitely subscribe to my odyssey i really appreciate it let's go ahead and pull up that recording i made and then i'll show you the video clip of me actually working on tuning everything in. Here is the actual, I played a video from my Odyssey actually. It's called, it's a DEF CON talk called Don't Fuck It Up. It's major lessons in online privacy. Highly suggest watching this video. Check it out on my Odyssey. Really appreciate if you follow me there and make sure to log in because I, I don't get credit for any views if people aren't logged in and 99% of people aren't logged in. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the recording I made remotely from the Pine Tab about 15 feet away using the frequencies that were coming from the computer speakers. And in fact, the speaker wire, when not shielded enough, can actually act as sort of a transmitting antenna. So let's go ahead and take a listen. As you can tell, you can actually understand the words. So it's you can hear me talking as well because I'm attempting to use it as a microphone. Not only does it pick up the speakers, what they're playing, but, and this is only when the speakers are active, but it also records any voice, so it can actually turn your speakers into a listening devo device, and that's the point I'm getting at. I haven't even cleaned up this audio yet. This is a raw clip of the audio I was, after I have everything, you know, my filter, my game, my squelch, everything tuned in right, that's when I recorded this. Let's take a look at the actual video of me working on that. As you can see here, suddenly as the video starts playing, we get a signal here can make it out a little bit. So this is just a nice little example of how our electronic devices give off more than we realize. Now if I turn the volume down, the signal here will get weaker. Now let me go ahead and frequency zoom out so you might be able to see that line a little bit better. Of course, we're limited by the amount of signal that's given off. So as you can see, that, that line is a bit easier to see when I zoom out. To finish up this video, I'm going to clean up the audio a little bit, and then I'm going to replay it for you guys. 
and I want to clear up any misconceptions. On this recording and in the videos, both microphones are completely muted out, so there is no microphone recording going on here. This is only GQRX recording that we're looking at in Audacity here. So if you heard the video in the background on the video part where I showed the signals, that was only because the microphone on my phone camera that did the video recording picked that up from around 15 feet away. Now I, I just want to make sure nobody thinks I'm using my microphone to do this. So I'm now going to work on noise reduction. So we'll, this is a short little tutorial on that. First, I'll play it without any changes. We'll now I'm going to stop it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight an area where there's not much talking, and that's going to filter out that static noise. I just did so, and now I'm going to noise reduction here and what I do now is go to get noise profile and now that it's grabbed the noise profile I can highlight the entire thing and then go back and do a noise reduction and actually go through the process by hitting OK here. Now it's reducing all that static for me and let's play the audio again and see if we have a difference. As you can tell, it's much clearer. So that is how you can reduce and process some of your audio from GQRX. You can tell he's talking about hidden services. Okay, I'm going to leave the video at that. I hope you got something out of this. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to follow me on Odyssey. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get some more followers over at Odyssey. Of course, I'm going to continue to upload to YouTube as well and PeerTube and BitChute as well. Thanks for watching. I will see you later, and we will talk more about software-defined radio and protecting your privacy.